In this lecture, we're going to cover the NG non-bindable directive. And by the end of this lecture, you're going to understand when and how to use the NG non-bindable directive. So we use the NG non-bindable directive when we want to tell Angular not to compile or bind a particular section of our page to really just ignore an element. And the most common example of this is if we wanted to write out some Angular code on the page. For example, if we wanted to render out the mustache syntax on our page. So to demonstrate this, I have an example in front of you. We just have a, a very, very simple ng non-bindable component, and we're rendering out some text, and the text itself has some, well, it, it tries to bind, has some binding syntax to a property of name, but we don't want to bind to a name. We actually just want to print out curly brace, curly brace, name, end curly brace, end curly brace. But if we try and run this, you can see it's not actually printing out this text here. It's, it's trying to find a variable to insert into there and it's, it's failing. It's actually treating it like Angular code. To make Angular ignore an element, we simply add the ng non-bindable directive to the element. So I'm gonna add it to our pre-tag. And now if we run our application again, we can see it's now rendering out the actual text, mustache syntax name, and not trying to bind to it or something else. So in summary, we use the ng non-bindable directive when we want to tell Angular not to perform any binding for an element.